I'm Peter Fogarty of the New South Wales Soil Knowledge Network. Managing water is the key to managing soil erosion on forest tracks and roads. The key to controlling erosion on a track surface is drainage. We can see here how the road is well crowned and so the water that's running down the track will actually shed to either side. It's picked up on either side by the table drain, which then runs along the side of the track. On this side here, the water is actually shedding onto the hill slope directly. So that's a good thing. Just up here, we have a table drain running down the side of the road. And then the water in the table drain is directed out onto the hill slope by a mitre drain. The spacing of the relief drainage that is the mitre drains or culverts, is crucial. Because if water runs too far down the table drain, it will start to erode it. The prescriptions from the forestry codes require that drain spacing is a function of the slope along the track. The gradient on this track is in the range of five to 10 degrees. The prescribed relief drainage spacing for that gradient is 60 metres. Okay, so we can see here that the table drain is starting to erode. It, that means that it's generating sediment that will either be delivered to the streams or it will continue to cause a problem in degrading the track. Ashley, what do you think is the best solution to this problem? Well, as we can see here, Pete, you know, the velocity has picked up and creating a, the drain a lot bigger. Unfortunately, the hillside is too steep to run a mitre drain out. So, in this instance here, we'd probably be better off putting a culvert pipe in, where it can enter in through the pipe and out, and flows can go back out onto a well vegetated area where it will cause no more sediment movement. What's involved in installing the culvert properly? Well, first thing is, Pete, we, we select an area where we're going to install the, the culvert pipe. Okay. And we, we will be cutting this into the road surface with a fall, so the water does generate back out on the outfall side. On this side here, we'll have a drop inlet into the, into the pipe, which will prevent further sediment movement and protection of the pipe on the inlet side. On the outlet side, we will have a head wall which will hold back the fill in place for the track surface and, and that'll stop, that, that'll reduce the sediment moving on the outlet side of your pipe. 